Welcome friends. I'm glad you're here with me for Juice for the Journey today. I heard the difference, I heard that the difference between involvement and commitment is like an egg and ham breakfast. The chicken was involved, but the pig was committed. Stop, think about it, check yourself. Which are you? Are you involved with the Lord or are you committed? See, that's a question we're all going to have to answer for ourselves. We've got to get off of the fence. And we've got to really make a decision for what we're going to do concerning our relationship with the Lord. I don't know where you are today, but I have some juice for your journey today. Psalm 37 verse 5 it says like this, commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act. This is a season. This is the time. It's the time, church, that we need to be committed. It's a time that we need to stop playing with God. We need to stop playing church. We need to get it right before God. We can't continue to play around. Either way, you have got to be in or you got to be out. Are you just involved? Are you just involved? You have to ask yourself that question. David is saying, commit your way to the Lord and God will act on your behalf. He will reward you for your righteousness. He will defend you against your enemies. So it's time to, to, to stop half-stepping. It's time to make a full commitment, to be fully committed to God's will and his way. What's keeping you in the arena playing these games? Ask yourself, Get right with God, church, because you may have to go home soon. My juice for the journey today is make a choice to follow Jesus with your whole heart. You want God's best? Then don't give him anything less. Give him all of you. Declare today, Lord, I commit myself fully to you your will in your way. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Lord, I have been out here playing these games too long. Forgive me. Restore a right relationship with you. Help me to give all of me for your purpose, your glory. And God help me to make a full commitment to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now remember, stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay out of people's face. And they're even encouraging us now to wear a mask. But above all, remember that God loves you. Have a blessed day.